Well, later today, those with Citizens for Prison Reform will celebrate their 10 year anniversary of helping families with incarcerated loved ones. Officials with the family run statewide nonprofit say the fight will never end, and this year they're focused on change within the system when it comes to oversight. So, joining us now live from where the event will be taking place later today is 6 News reporter Autumn Pitcher. She's here for you now with what the group is looking to accomplish. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, everyone. The nonprofit wants to celebrate their 10 year anniversary, but they really want to focus on the changes moving forward. Now, officials with the organization say they're motivated to end solitary confinement as they believe inmates are treated unfairly, creating negative impacts on their mental health. Beverly Hines says her son was in and out of local prison several times and he was in solitary confinement for 45 days. Hines says he struggled with his mental health and had suicidal thoughts. She says he was also a diabetic and had his insulin withheld, which caused major health complications. Knowing so many stories, you know, like I say, he has passed away, but I just can't sit by and know that there are so many other people suffering in solitary confinement and just um, being neglected and abused in the system. So I just feel a need to, you know, work in this organization and do what I can. Now, the organization does say that they are willing to put in the work it takes to make these changes within the system. Here for you live in Lansing, Autumn Pitcher, 6 News.